catch y'all on another video today, man. Fire department outside. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Um, Goddamn emergency out here in Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that shit is sad, man. We having to bring y'all this video today, our reaction to the game. Uh, honestly, it went the complete opposite way of not even only how we thought it was going to go, but I'm pretty sure the entire world didn't think we was going to lose like that. Like, I know a lot of people had us losing probably, but, like, not blow out. Like, hell no. Nah. Yeah, we were supposed to blow their ass out, not get blown out. Bro. Like, yeah. At home, you get blown. Not only do you... Not lose all year at home, but your first loss is a blowout at home. Even though we made it close at the end, man, we got to have blue out, bro. Like, that shit is embarrassing, bro. Like, Number seven seed at that, like, home field. Everything, the ball is in our court, and we literally can't deliver. Like, and it's crazy because, like, we was doing everything we was supposed to do leading up until the first week of the playoffs. Without Trayvon Diggs, you got to take into account. Without... Without um, a running back game to support Tony Pollard, I feel like Rico Dowell was good this year. I ain't trying to put no blame on him at all whatsoever, but I feel like the red zone presence it was hard for us to score in the red zone for the earlier part of the year because we didn't have somebody like a, a Zeke to get in the end zone. So we was able to, despite having red zone issues and not having a running back who could plunge it in, we were still able to to somehow be twelve and five, and we get to the first round of the, of the wild card and we a second seed at home going against number seven seed and we just come out there and we looked like we was outclassed. Like it didn't look it looked like they didn't really have to sweat for real on their side. Like it was just embarrassing. I think it's like bro, it wasn't even one side of the ball, bro. Like just flat out across the board, the whole team just got beat in. Like every aspect, bro. Like if you go back and you look at it, Aubrey been making field goals all year. He even missed a goddamn extra point. Even though it was scooted back like forty yards. He still been money at home. He ain't missed all year at home. He missed at home. Uh, goddamn defense, bro. We 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 couldn't even force a field goal. Like we couldn't force, we couldn't force a punt. Not only a punt, we couldn't even force a field goal, bro. And like every third down, they like just straight up converting it. Up. Like, bro, we fucking getting stops on first and second down. Third down come, Jordan Love just invite the pressure, throw it off his back foot, dom wide open. Like they they running wide open all game. I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. We just got outclassed across the board. Offense, shit, we came out on different pages. Uh, CD dropped the ball on that one, got us off the field. Then Dak threw a pick, Dean threw a pick six. Like, we just came out. And, like, we we haven't looked like this all year. Like, the only game that was close to this was the goddamn San Fran game. At least that was San Fran, though. This is the goddamn number seven seed, the Green Bay Packers, bro. Like, we supposed to be dogging them. We come in and get our shit dogged at home. We got Jordan Love coming out looking like a baby Aaron Rodgers, like, and then we come out and we haven't, like, that's why I feel like this shit gotta be, like, I'm buying into the whole NFL scripted shit now, like, I'm trying to find some type of explanation of why we <laughs> playing the way we playing in that situation, like, that ain't looked that terrible the entire year, and, like, he, ha he hasn't, she gave me any sign that I should be worried about him, like, doing something like this in the playoffs, and he literally came out and he looked like how everybody was saying that he was going to look without any type of proof of this season of how he looked. And even going back to last year, bro, like last year, we had a year and we go out and we beat Tampa Bay at their crib in the playoffs, send, send Tom Brady out on his last game. We go to San Fran and then he played like shit. Okay, granted. But you come back and you have the season, probably one of your best seasons of your career. And first game, not only are you playing bad, but – our defense is coming out in primarily zone defense, and we're playing this nickel look that we play all season long, but it's not working. And you got linebackers playing back so far, defending the pass or whatever, but you you got them trying to run fit from like eight to ten yards away. Like, I don't understand what was going on yesterday. I felt like we was just intentionally trying to like put ourselves in position to have it a game or lose, and they just came out and they just did whatever they wanted to just because of the simple fact that we wasn't playing to the strength of why we were playing. Had we have came out and manned more and man blitz more and we came out and we play called and schemed our offense to get CD the ball and play how we usually play, like, we, it wouldn't even been that type of game yesterday. So I, I honestly don't even know, like, I'm done with these niggas, like, straight yeah. up. Yeah, I, like, I really don't know, bro. Like, I really feel like that's why we really didn't do a video last night. I was in shock. Like, I really, I didn't know what to say. I, I still damn near don't even know what to say. I'm just kind of taking away of, from what I've seen during, like, the game. But who would have, like, saw us getting our ass smacked first round, bro? 
Like, not even to make to the second round, bro. You just get smacked in the first round. Like, and the people just saying, like, I knew this is it. Like, it's the Cowboys. Like, what did, what did your team do this year? First of all, you, most people who talk shit ain't never even played a snap of football in their life. Second, uh, it'd be the, the, the trolling. Like, you be, like, dead-ass trolling. So, like, I don't even be getting worked up about the, the L as much until, like, people start trolling because they always say, well, y'all, what do you do? Like, okay, if, if if your friend gonna jump off a cliff, are you gonna jump off a cliff too? Like, you say you're doing stuff because of what we do, but we literally be chilling. Uh, it's probably not – all fans are probably not how we be. Like, we don't troll. We realistic, like, Cowboys fans. But at the same time, it kind of get, like – play it out like every single year it's the same thing like how <laughs> nah, do we yeah. keep losing and I like mean, come on man it is it is starting to feel the same bro and it's like it's like you want to i mean we got them fans bro like this really my team so it's like you got to ride with them no matter what but to get put through the same thing every year and then this year shit even look better you like damn well shit this year at least we at home we ain't lost at home we playing the worst team like everything was lined up for us bro and it's the same results like so at this point, I like I feel like no matter what we do in the regular season, it's still gonna come down to all right, shit. Fuck all that. What are we gonna do in the playoffs? That's what it's gonna be from here forward, bro. Because we can, we can, we can, we can get to the playoffs every year. It's what we gonna do in the playoffs. And as far as that, I really don't know. Like they're trying to fire the coach. I mean, shit. Is it got them really his fault? Is he really going I, out there playing? I feel like it like, is. Because I mean, shit. At the same at the same time, we can say that the players gotta play, but. At yeah. the same time, too, like, the coach has got to coach. Like, don't go away from what you're doing. Don't start being conservative. Don't start calling shit that's too, like, simply. Like, we came out running the ball primarily on first downs. When have we ever came out and just ran the ball on obvious downs? Every time, majority of the time we was watching the game, we came out on, on first down and we ran the ball. We were playing predictable. We haven't played like that all year. That's why I'm just like, I don't know, like, bro. Coaching, for, for sure. Like, Dan Quinn, he probably going to be gone, so. He gonna be shit, gone. coaching on both sides, really. I mean, shit, both both coaches probably had their worst coaching day. Like, shit, really got them Dan Quinn. He really kind of surprised me. Like, we play hella zone. That's what I'm saying, bro. We play hella zone, and then like even like the players, like like Gilly playing man coverage. He's not even looking at the receiver. He's just trying to guess his route, and like, bro, he like break it off, and he's just wide open. We had the other tight end wide open. Romeo Dobbs wide open like three times. Like, that was too many. Like, we had too many busted carriages. I don't know what That's it what is. That's what I'm saying. Like, it so, was just too easy. Bro. So, I don't know if got down McCarthy don't got us ready to play or what. So, if anything, well, I know for sure he gone. Because something something got to give. You you just can't bring back the whole team and say, let's run it back again. This is this going on year three with this same team trying to run it back. So, something something got to give, bro. So, I, I think I – think, McCarthy gone for sure. Uh, and then from there, I, I don't know, bro. We got to go get better. We got to go get a running back for sure because we got to have a run game. Shit. They came out and just ran the ball on us, bro. They just ran the ball down our throat. And then from there, they just set up everything else. They went play action and just started getting wide open. I, I don't know. I, I, can, I can see if goddamn Watson was just burning people or mossing people, but they they just running wide open. That shit ain't happened all year. So I'm still trying to process of how we wait to the first game of the playoffs just to let everybody start running wide the fuck open. So I don't know, man. This shit crazy. And then on top of that, it's just kind of like it's like how you come, how do you come to into a playoff game not ready to play? Like I, I just don't understand. I don't understand to be honest. I just don't know what to say. Like. <laughs> People can talk sh shit about us saying that we're going to have a good season all uh, year long. But if I'm a fan of, a t of my team, why would I say that we're not going to do good? Why would I sit up here and say, oh, yeah, um, we're going to win the regular season. But when we come to the playoffs, we just have zero chance. What? We have been put we have 15 Pro Bowlers on our team. <laughs> like, why would I not say that my team is going is gonna to beat another team? Why would I not have faith and confidence in my team? That's just like you saying, if you're a fan of the Browns, you thought they was going to go out there and beat the Texans. Everybody was saying that the Browns was going to beat the Texans, went out there and got blew out 45-something, 45-13, 45-16. They was all talking about Joe Flacco been to a Super Bowl. Joe Flacco, this, this, and that, third. Oh, no. <laughs> and they went out and got blown out. So, like, it, I hate how it's always just the Cowboys is the narrative of, of, of the choking team. Yeah. Like I said before, only it's th it's what thirty two teams in the league. Only two teams can make it to the Super Bowl every single year. So the teams that's always good or always in it don't win every year. The Bills, I haven't seen the Bills in the Super Bowl yet, but y'all be riding a high horse. Y'all be talking about Josh Allen so much, and yet they still ain't made a Super Bowl. They can't beat Patrick Mahomes. 
at all. Uh, who else? It's really a lot of teams like that. The, the goddamn 49ers shit. 49ers. The goddamn Niners ain't won in like a little minute. Like y'all ain't like y'all ain't won since uh, they all they always get here. They always get to the goddamn championship and losing that. But nobody really speak on them. But it's 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 really just the Cowboys, bro. Like we got goddamn so many fans that goddamn people want to see us lose. Like I ain't see I ain't see nobody. Uh, as goddamn Packers fans yesterday until we lost. We lose, now everybody on my timeline and goddamn Packers fans. Like, and then when y'all lose, it's going to be when y'all at home with us. Like, you ain't even a part of the team, no way. Like, you're not even a fan of the team. And like I said, every team got to lose. When the Eagles lose this week or, or today or, to, or, or or next week, I wonder what the excuse going to be. Oh, we didn't have A.J. Brown. But niggas not saying that right now. I, I, I've been saying y'all only got A.J. Brown. Y'all one in five in y'all last six games. Y'all, I, I don't even think Devontae Smith is all the way healthy. Jalen Hurst is not all the way healthy. So I don't know what how y'all think y'all finna just come out here and have an easy win. Like, y'all win ain't for certain at all. So y'all yeah. was doing a lot of trolling yesterday. I want y'all to keep that same energy today, winning if y'all lose. Yeah, man, it's all good. All that all that trolling shit, I don't even, I don't even really pay attention to it because I already know that shit gonna goddamn come with it. So I'm like, fuck it. Everybody, everybody gonna be worried about us at the goddamn end of the day. So every year... Any like anytime we lose, I already know what's coming, so I really don't even pay that shit up my mind. But all I can do is just focus on shit, what we can do to get better. But at this point, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I, I find myself every year asking this same question. So I'm damn near out of fucking answers. Like I don't know what we can do to get better. We had a fucking good year on defense. We had a great year on offense. Special teams good. Like I don't know. I don't know, bro. Like, we had a good year across the board in every category just to get to the first round and lose to the number seven seed, a young team full of receivers who rookies and second-year players. Quarterback, this is first year starting. Like, come on, bro. We supposed to be. Like, I, 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 could, I could understand or not be as sour about us losing in a, a good competitive game to a good team, but to the number seven seed, like – a team who just started playing good. Yeah, like, if we would have came out and, you know what I'm saying, lost to, like, the Rams or, like, the Seahawks, I wouldn't be as mad, bro, because it's like, they got vets on their team. They kind of been here before. Like, like the Seahawks got hella talent across the board. They got hella talent. And, like, the Packers got talent, too, but we got way more talent than them. At least the goddamn Seahawks, they got them somewhat out of hours. They got a good ass receiver. They got good DBs. They got a solid running back. They got Geno. He a vet. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just like the Packers, bro. Like, they good, bro. To their credit, they came out and just got on my ass. They came out and ran the ball, which that's the recipe every year. So, we need to go get a linebacker. That's what we need to do. We need to go get a linebacker. <laughs> I was saying we need to get some D linemen too, like some 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 actual dogs on front, and they got to be from either Bama or Georgia. Like I'm tired yeah. of getting. It's been proven every every time a D lineman come from Bama or Georgia, they they be stout. Yeah, I don't. Time. Yeah, I don't see why we not buying into that. Shit, you see all these other teams whenever they go get somebody from Bama or Georgia, they got damn defense rookie of the year, Jalen Clark, Jordan Davis. Like, come on, bro. So it's just like, man, I don't know, bro. We gotta go get some dogs in that front seven, bro. We got edge rushers. We got DBs. Now we need to work on the goddamn interior of our goddamn position group. So we need to go work on our interior linebackers. We need to go get a goddamn stud linebacker, bro. Somebody who's going to shoot the gap. Then we need to go get some goddamn interior D-linemen, bro. Somebody who's going to goddamn hold their goddamn blocks, two gap, all that shit, bro. Like, that's where we need to start at. Because running the ball, like, it's like every year. If you can run the ball, then you can have success. They say the same thing every year, bro, no matter how good our defense is playing. So, the recipe is up, bro. If you want to beat us, have a good run game, and that's going to open everything up. So we need to go ahead and erase that whole little narrative right there. So we need to come out, and we need to work on that. That need to be the first thing. After we got down, get a coach. We need to, you know what I'm saying, go straight to the defensive line, linebackers, get that figured out. Because I got them linebackers that are got them undersized, bro. They getting got them pushed out the box all night. Aaron Jones got these big-ass holes that he's running through. And shit, that's just setting everything goes up. So now you got to put more people inside the box. Now you got niggas running wide open. So I gotta say, yeah. man, I really don't know, bro. But we gotta get some shit fixed. We gotta, we need answers, bro. Like, Ever since Vanders got here, we we primarily stayed in nickel defense or dime defense. We have yet to put go four three or or put any type of linebackers in there. Uh, we don't even play Malik Jefferson. I don't know what the deal is with that. But we've been having him for I don't know how many years, and we don't even really use him for real. Uh, so honestly, linebacker is definitely the, the next move. We need to get like somebody that's a true linebacker, but that has speed 
and who can play the run extremely well. Like we need somebody like that. And then I, I feel like we need, we just need to focus specifically on our defense, like this upcoming year, like our offense, whatever. Like we, we can make some moves on the offensive side too, but but primarily defense. We need to go get more corners that are that are true man coverage lockdown corners. We need and we need to improve on our D line. And then as far as offensively, I feel like we need to go and get. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like we need to draft the quarterback just because, like, I ain't gonna lie. He, this year for, for me would have been back last year, but I, I know they ain't, they ain't gonna give up on him because they was talking contract and all that. So I, I know that for a fact, if they resign him, I'm gonna lose my mind. But if they, if they at least don't resign him, they're gonna give him one more year, I guess, to give himself a chance to prove himself or whatever. But they still need to go draft the quarterback to put some pressure on him because I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is getting repetitive, like him playing good and then playing bad when it matters. So, um, you gotta you gotta be able to overcome that hump by now. Like you've been in the league for too many years, you've been a part of the organization, so you know what the pressure feel like playing for the Cowboys. Like you should already be accustomed to all that. So that now at this point, you need to be trying to like like change your mindset, change the way you play. Like if if nothing's there, like you gotta use your legs more. He was a he was a mobile quarterback in college, and he got to the NFL. He don't run like that. Like he had that one injury, but even even prior to that, like you can still run and go get a few yards. Like but you don't have to sit in the pocket. Or take a sack or just throw a pick if you feel like it ain't nothing there and you trying to force something. Like, no. Like, I'm tired of seeing that. So, we got Trey Lance. Cooper Rush is obviously not the answer, I feel like, to just take over as a starting quarterback and do something. I feel like. No, he's like, just I, a good backup. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie. Him and Dak, there's really not that much of a difference, to be honest. The only difference between Dak and Cooper Rush is that Dak has more um, experience. But I feel like Cooper Rush ain't that far off from Dak, if we're going to be completely honest. Because when Cooper Rush came in those five or six games that he did, he did exactly what he was supposed to do. He played within the system. And honestly, he looked like a Brock, a Brock Purdy type of guy to me who can make all the right throws and protect the ball. So even if we got to resort to him for a little bit or something, I don't know. Or Trey, if Trey Lance is ready to come out there and give us a spark, something different at quarterback, I don't know. But we, we definitely got to fix that quarterback situation. And then we got to get somebody else to compliment C.D. Lamb. Like, I feel like... We need like a Devontae Adams type receiver, a true outside number one receiver who could kind of be a little versatile, but can't play outside and allow CD to move and play slot a little bit more because it's just like, we got Brandon Cooks who did a pretty solid job, but I feel like we just need one more option to go with Ferg and CD because yeah. that's that's this man the part. Our O-line has been pretty much a, a solid O-line, so they're going to be that, what they're going to be. TP didn't really have a good year, but he coming off an injury, so I give him slack on that. So. And we just got Deuce Vaughn, and we got Rico, who had a productive year. So I think our running back room, cool. We could upgrade right there. But other than that, bro, like, that's that's mainly what I got to see. And the coaching changes, of course, but that was already going to be messed up anyway. I just feel like it needs to be a rebuild year, bro, because, like, we didn't already been in the same position for years in a row. Let's let's go ahead and shake the whole thing up. I don't care. Like, if we don't make the playoffs for the next couple of years or whatever, that's cool because, nigga, we've been making it and not doing nothing. So let's go ahead and, and actually – not make it or at least have a season where we actually rebuild it so that we could actually see some some real progress and steps toward being um, in the Super Bowl. Because right now, we ain't going to do it with the team we got, for sure. Yeah, so I feel like I feel like we don't need a, a whole new rebuild, but I feel like we do need a rebuild in certain areas. Like like the linebacker room, that, like that's, that's where we should start at, bro. Because I feel like that's like our weakness and everybody is attacking our weakness, bro. So we got to start with with the linebackers, bro, like it, it, it gotta be the linebacker room. Like it need to be a complete change in that. Now. I'm talking about like, like I like Bell, bro, but I mean, bro, he's built like a safety. He's really like a safety type of guy. And then as as far as the goddamn D lineman interior, like Mozzie Smith, like you know what I'm saying, we want to go get him, bro. But like. We need somebody who's going to change some shit. Like, bro, we don't got time for people to develop. This was a Super Bowl, a buzz type of year. So, I really didn't get us going out to go get him whenever he wasn't all that proven in college anyway. But that's just me. But I feel like we need to go get a couple of vets, and we need to draft really good and just kind of just, you know what I'm saying? We we going we gonna to re-sign some, some people back from this team, like, like a handful, but there's some people that like gotta go. It's like some people gotta go. Hopefully Trey Diaz come back uh healthy. We should probably go get another corner just in case. But I feel like our DBs are solid, but I don't know, bro. Like it's just so hard because I feel like all the all the pieces we need, I feel like we had them this year. I mean I mean we could have used like another running back maybe or something like that. But like 
I feel like everything we really had, bro. So it's really kind of hard to say what what we need and what we don't need and who we need to let go and who we need to bring back. Like it's hard, bro, because I feel like we had enough this year to to at least get to the goddamn uh goddamn NFC championship. So I really don't know, bro. But uh definitely change is coming, bro. Whenever you lose like this, change gotta come. So it's gonna be some change. We just gotta make them in the right spots. We honestly have enough every year. It's just like teams always expose our obvious weakness. Like our, if 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 a team is able to expose our one weakness, it's GG's for us every single time. Like we have enough every single year. Going back to even when we had Dez Romo, the uh DeMarco Murray, Jason Witten, like we had all the pieces. Even when we had Miles Austin, like we've had plenty of of Pro Bowl type guys and we couldn't even go and, and do what we needed to do. Uh DeMarcus Ware, like all them type of dudes, like we, st we ain't never been able to do it. Like, T.O. T.O. going down in the Hall of Fame. Like, yeah. we ain't never been able to do what we need to do. Every time we've had the team, we've always had enough where we can never do what we're supposed to. Rookie year, Dax and Zeke's rookie year. I feel like, honestly, if any year was a year, it was going to be that year. The year that Dez caught it in that year because – they look unstoppable. Even even in that game, it was like the playoff game was no pressure to them. They came out balling out, and it was just Aaron Rodgers doing Aaron Rodgers things. First of all, he's right-handed. He rolls out to the left, backpedals a little bit. With pressure in his face, he throws a – he zips a dot to somebody going out of bounds with time on the clock enough to, to kick the field goal. Like, right. that's how we lose that. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. We – we do this every year, so at this point, like, I, it ain't really just a, a crazy, crazy thing to me. I just don't understand how you could be in that organization and not have a mindset to where you're not accepting anything other than the win, anything other than going to the Super Bowl. Like, why is the coach not fury, furious? Like, our our old coach, what's, what's his name? That was that was Jason going, Garrett. Nah, that was going off on um during halftime. Who just got put into the ring of uh, honor? I can't. Even oh, remember. Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, Jimmy Johnson. Like it's like he was more amped yeah, up. Yeah, he had him. way more fire than goddamn McCarthy. He just you feel moping, me? moping to the locker room. Like no I, passion. Like I definitely feel like we need a coach who's gonna get on somebody. Else. Like goddamn a Bill Belichick. Honestly, I feel like that's probably the coach who we who we need to go get it. Like at this point, because. I feel like he gonna come out and have us ready to play. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's really the only thing too. I feel like we some of these games we don't come out ready to play, bro. Like I feel like we kind of half ass into the game and just think shit gonna be handed to us, and then we get smacked in the mouth, and now we playing from behind, and from there it's just too much pressure. Man. Like I don't know. I, I feel like that's really what it is. It's just it's just too much pressure for these guys. Like every year it's a certain expectation, and we not and we not reaching it. So. I don't know, bro. I really don't know. I I, I really have nothing else to say. I, I just I just hope that we come out, we make some changes, but still, again, we can have a good ass, you know what I'm saying, regular season, and we're gonna get to the playoffs, and then we, every goddamn Cowboy fan gonna be like, oh, what now? This is the, this is the real test. So really, uh, the goddamn regular season don't even matter no more, bro. Like it, it's just gonna come down to the playoffs. Our week one start week one of the playoffs. That that's. That's how we gonna know how to goddamn feel about the team. So, until next year, bro. I don't know. Yeah, man. Until next year, man. That's gonna be the. That's gonna be in this video. That's all I've, I've said. All I had to say about it. Um. Yeah, man. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, uh, we appreciate all the support, even even in our down times like this. Yeah. Uh, really use some of that. <laughs> yeah, man. Really oh, yeah. use some of them. Yeah, uh, shout out to all the new subscribers that uh, subscribed to the channel recently. Welcome to the channel. Uh, yeah, we man. appreciate y'all for uh, joining the channel. Make sure y'all turn on post notifications, uh, like the video, uh, and tell your friends about us. Subscribe to the channel, man. Sure. And yeah, we go. Yes, sir.